Attach the round compression plate into the top part of the machine, as shown. Tighten the nut to hold the fixture firmly. Now place the flat plate on the lower platform. Take the bottle sample. Remove the cap, if any, and place it in the center on the flat plate. If the space is insufficient, move the top plate and upwards to create sufficient gap for the sample. Start the software, select bottle testing, and then, compression test. Software will auto-detect the load cell connected to the machine. If this is your first test, fill up the relevant details as shown. If this is a repeat test, the details from the last test will automatically show on the screen. Change only the fields that need to be changed. If you keep the mouse on a particular field, the software may show you suggested values. Give the machine a test target. Break means that the machine will stop only after the sample collapses and the machine detects a drop greater than the break point percent you specify. Load You can specify a target load after which the machine will stop. Distance you can specify a target distance after which the machine will stop. Both. You can specify a target load and distance. The machine will stop if any of the targets is achieved. For this demo, we are using the target as break. This software will report the peak load and the deflection at that point. If you enable the critical deformation point, and specify a desired deflection value, the software will also report the load value of that particular deflection point. You can also specify a minimum target value for the sample. If the peak load result is greater than your target, the software will declare it as a pass, or show a fail result. Ensure that the load cell detected by the machine is the correct capacity for this test. Click on Done. If you are sure you have filled all details correctly, select Yes Continue. This is the test screen. Press 0 button. Then press Start. The machine starts to move at the defined test speed. If the gap above the sample is too large, press jog button, the machine will now run at a faster speed. Just before the compression plate and touches the top of the sample, press the jog button again to allow the machine to run at the slower test speed. You will see the load versus deflection graph on the screen now. As soon as the sample collapses, the machine will detect a drop in load, and stops the downward motion. The top platen will now reverse back to the starting position. The software will display a message. Select OK. Enter remarks, if any, and press save button. Test screen will now close and show the PDF test report.
Remove the tested sample.